you know what? A couple years ago, I don't know, a couple, two, three years ago, I told um, my husband, I insisted that we always have extra water, toilet paper, paper towels, and canned food. I told him to always buy the biggest bag of dog food that was available. So I insisted that we always have these things. And he would get angry because some of the canned food would expire. He's like, this is so stupid, you know? And um, even the water has an expiration date. But, you know, I felt that it was necessary to always have that just in case of an emergency. Now, I was thinking tornadoes because of where we live. You know, in the Midwest, you're susceptible to tornadoes. And we actually had a tornado warning, and I and my dog were underneath the mattress. I pulled the mattress off the bed, covered us. The sirens were gone off for an hour, but nothing happened near me anyway. So I'm thinking something like that, you know? And he thought I was fucking crazy. Now look it. I fucking, I'm, yeah, I'm saying it. I told you so. I fucking told you, you short-sighted fucker. Because all you think about is your immediate gratification. You never fucking plan for the long term, ever. Now, now see, I hope you have fucking supplies in that garage. Don't come fucking knocking on my fucking door when you run out of shit, because I fucking told you, and you've been treating me like a goddamn fucking, like I'm subhuman over here. That motherfucker, too, when I was, he uses cutting me off, cutting off all communication as a weapon. So from our entire marriage and he still continues to do it. So if I dared to ask him too many questions, boom, he'd be gone for three days. But now what he does, he cuts off the text messages, he blocks me. Knowing that I'm ill here and I'm all alone, you know, he's the only one I am in that direct of a conversation with, you know, to communication with rather. That's always been his punishment, is to isolate me. Don't fucking not, I fucking told you, you better have extra soap and all that shit too, I do. Cause they're gonna fucking lock it down for fucking two weeks in Indiana starting Tuesday at midnight. Yep, I fucking told you.